Hi everyone and welcome to More Than a Conqueror. I'm Anjali with Jihan, Sherry, and Nisi. Today we're talking about a sensitive topic, lies. Mm -hmm. And particularly lies that the enemy will tell <coughs> women. Mm -hmm. And I think that the way that he gets to us is right in here. So mm -hmm. the battlefield is in our mind. So what are, the, what are, what are some of the, the battles that we face daily because of the lies the enemy tells us? Well, I think like the number one thing for me and probably for most women, it's always to get us looking at the other woman. Mm -hmm. Always gets to look at her, whether it's her personality, what she's doing in life, especially the way she looks. Always mm -hmm. trying to get us to look like them, like we're not enough, we need to do something else, and no matter what we're doing, it's not at that level as the other woman. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jealousy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Jealousy comparison. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, because that way we're never going to end up being the actual woman of God that God created us to be. Because we're, we're going to be the person. Else. Yep. Mm. So, mm. It's true. I think it's uh, interesting what you said at the heart of it. Uh, I'm listening right now, audiobook, to uh, Captivating. Mm. And, it, you know, they point out that at the root of it, everything that we do stems from that question Am I captivating? Am I lovely? Yeah. Yeah. And. Uh, it manifests in different shapes and sizes and forms and one of them is comparison where we mm -hmm. look to other people and we compare ourselves against other women with their gifts or talents or their looks yeah. Yeah. and um, it always comes down to that the questions like that always go in my head it's I'm not enough of this or I'm too much of this yeah. and it's just this maddening cycle of like back and forth like you're you're inadequate or you're too much and yeah. you're never a happy medium it's always one or the other yeah. so Mm -hmm. What do we do? What do you guys oh. do when when you are face to face with that lie? And it sounds like the truth. It feels like the truth. Mm -hmm. It just it's hard to to bust through that. But what do you do, Jihan? So right now, just four days ago, I um, I was Googling like crazy because I was just so sick and tired. You know, when you're just sick and tired of dealing with lies. And mm -hmm. I was talking to a friend of mine who said this lies that go on in your head can destroy relationships with like the best of friends. Yeah. And I just got sick and tired of believing lies because it's the imagination and where it can take you. Yeah. And so I found, um, I found this woman, her name's Dr. Caroline Leaf and she is mm -hmm. a neurologist and she mixes uh, science with the word of God. Mm -hmm. And she talks about like, it's a, it's a 21 day detox. Mm -hmm. So I basically bought this app for my phone and I'm doing a 21 day brain oh, detox. Wow. And oh. it's phenomenal because I wake up every morning and it's like, I praise and I, I do a praise and a worship and I lay, I literally lay down the negative thought at the throne of grace. Oh, and then I nice. enter his presence wow. with Thanksgiving because when you complain and when you whine, God doesn't listen. But when you, you enter his courts with Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving he's yeah. listening. Listening. He yeah. wants to help us. So the verse that I am, um, I'm actually, and so basically if I have a negative thought throughout the day, what I do at least seven times a day, I, I memorize a scripture to battle whatever yep. it is that I'm going so through. Good. So yeah. today's verse is we demolish arguments and every mm -hmm. pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God. And we take captive every thought to yep. make it obedient to Christ. So Love we are, scripture. we are mandated by Christ to take our thoughts and make them obedient. And I've heard this verse before, but I never knew how to do it. It. Mm -hmm. But with this 21 day brain detox that I'm doing, it, it spells everything out. Mm -hmm. And I'm only on day four, but I can tell you such a difference already. Wow. And you take one thought at a time. So after 21 days, the thought is like you've replaced that one negative uh, thought and you've replaced it with like what God says about, yeah. about different things. And it can be, if you're not feeling loved, um, there's verses in the Bible that, you know, it's like, you don't need to find love from people. You need to find it from God. Yeah. And, yeah. um, he's pursued us with a relentless love. And mm. when you get into his word and you're replacing those negative thoughts with his word, it will change the way you think. And you literally cut off the branches of toxic thoughts. Wow. It's amazing. Yeah. 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 Can you tell me what that scripture was? It's Second Corinthians ten five. Second Corinthians yeah. ten chapter fifth verse. That's it's a beautiful scripture. Yeah. Yeah. And I think we've all heard that scripture before, but yeah. I think sometimes we do wonder. I know for me myself personally, I've often wondered how do I take that yeah. thought captive? Mm -hmm. What does it mean to take that thought captive? How do I actually walk that out? Do yeah. I just say, Okay, thought, I'm taking yeah. it captive. That doesn't really do it for mm -hmm. me. Yeah. But it doesn't do it for anybody. Yeah. You but lay to it actually down. have a plan, yeah, you yeah. Lay it and down. that's the plan. Lay it down, go into the presence of God, and say, okay, with thanksgiving, mm -hmm. so and good. then you praise Him. 
and you thank yeah. him that he is walking through this with you it's and amazing. that his he wants us whole. Yeah. He wants us to be walking on this earth as whole, complete women, yeah. walking yeah. in our mm -hmm. own lane yeah. so that we're not competing. So it's when you get a concept of, okay, he wants us walking in wholeness, how do we do that? He's promised to do that. Mm -hmm. It's his promises are in here and we do ourselves such a disservice when we were when we're not in the word. And I'm so guilty of it where I haven't memorized scripture in the yeah. past, but yeah. just replacing the negative thoughts um, and you know, replacing them with scripture is just that's what's working for me. And I think that's really key what you just said, uh, replacing the thought because the truth is that we cannot kill a thought with a thought, like our own thoughts. Mm. So good. We yeah. cannot kill a thought with our own thoughts. Wow. I can't be like, oh, yeah, I'm just not going to be like her. I'm not going to be like her. Like, yeah. that doesn't do it. Doesn't the whole reason we've been doing this is because we've all understood and seen the power of God, the word of God at work in our lives. Yeah. And yeah. so taking a lie and seeing, okay, this is not who I am. And it's something that is is um is just like oppressing and being really hard on our own spirits and souls i'm telling you it's probably not from god right. and it's not yeah. the truth of it and so man we live in a time that's so great today we can just google something yep. what is the opposite of this comma bible and a scripture is going to pop up and then you get a scripture and then whenever that thought comes up not killing it with a thought but replacing it with the word of god because that's what's powerful and we're going to start to see those things just fall off of our lives just like you've seen and i've seen in my own yeah. life yeah. power think, in the word of god i think what you just said is so interesting like if it's God, you know, that's not God. That thought isn't coming yep. from God. However, what I've also seen is that God will continue to let us have those thoughts because mm. he wants to purge them out of us. Mm. It's like he, it, it's like, cause if, if he didn't want us to have them, then we'd be like, we just wouldn't have them. But it's mm. like, if they keep coming up and they keep coming up, God is wanting you to face that issue yeah. and yeah. purge it out. Now it's not easy. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's been tears, there's, you know, battling with God. It's like, why do I have to go through this? You know, like, mm -hmm. why doesn't she have to go through this? Like, but it's, um, yeah, just replacing it with scripture yep. and just, and thanking him. Like, thank you that you are there and you're going to listen to this problem again yep. and you're going to walk through it with yeah. me and you're, you want me to be whole. So let's do some practical housekeeping here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, when it comes to the word of God, what has worked for you ladies, as far as um, memorizing the word of God, making mm. sure that it's always visible. For me, I take note cards mm. and I'll write the scriptures out, depending mm. on what the topic is. Um, one of my favorite scriptures is um, in, in Proverbs. It talks about the worth of a woman. It mm. says that she's worth far oh, more than ruby. rubies. Mm -hmm. I know how much a ruby is worth. <laughs> I know that I can't just go out and buy a ruby, you wow. know? It's it's a beautiful hmm. craftsmanship from yeah. God and that's yeah. just what that's that's one thing that he thinks yeah. about us is what he says about us. So it's scriptures like that that I would write down on my Good. little note cards and post them throughout my house or in my car. I used to have what I call pocket scriptures. Yeah. I was working in a job that was I oh, I was being attacked uh, spiritually. Mm all day, every day. And so I'd have pocket scriptures and every once awesome. in a while I'd go to the bathroom and pull out my pocket scripture mm -hmm. and I would just infuse myself mm -hmm. with the word of God. Good. How do you do it? For me personally, because I'm kind of a geek, uh, I make In my, a cool way. Well, <laughs> 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 oh, well you're just gonna code this. No, I use, uh, I make my password scripture. I ain't giving you guys my passwords, but okay. <laughs> I will, uh, it's actually really secure. I'm like, like how often part. do you change these passwords? I change it a lot, actually. I wow. change it a lot, and it's a great way, because hmm. you got to log in, like, your email account, say, once or twice a day, so you're forced to, at least every single day, type in that every single really scripture crazy. line amazing. So that's what I do, so, that's I mean, right. the sad yeah, thing like is, that. if you ask me to recite something, I have to actually, like, do it this way, because oh I've gosh. memorized it that's awesome. with my fingers. Yeah. But it, it helps me recall scripture every time without fail. So I've had at okay. least like six, seven scriptures now that I memorized by yeah. heart because I had to every time say it aloud as Love I'm it. typing in. Mm -hmm. I like that. It's really cool. practical. Mm -hmm. 10 yeah. seconds. 10 seconds. What do you ladies do? Uh, for me, I mean, same thing, the Word of God. I'm a visual learner, so when I read something in the Word of God, it just kind of sticks in my mind. Okay. So I'll say the scripture and over and over and over and just ask the Holy Spirit to make it alive in my heart, awesome. uh, especially with something that's ongoing that I'm dealing with. So if I'm something's happening at work or during the day, I will take the time to be like, no, no, no. The moment I, I see it and use the Word of God, and it's been amazing to see how that stuff has to go. That's mm -hmm. the Word of God. Yeah. 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 
So I've been doing this detox and so literally I type it out on my phone mm -hmm. and I'll even like post it on Instagram. Like I'll do that, but I'll have it in my saved photos and mm. seven times throughout the day is I'll pull up that verse and I'm just like trying to mm -hmm. memorize it. And they're not always it. huge verses, yeah. Yeah. you know, like they can mm -hmm. be really short, but that's what I've been doing. Love mm. it. Yeah. I love that. Okay. So yeah. now I guess what we would like to know is how you memorize scripture. How do you... Mm -hmm bring that to life in your life uh, and fight the lies of the enemy yeah. because they are very real. Um, but he would have you to believe that the word of God does not apply to your life, but it does. Yes. So how Absolutely. do you make the word of God stick up here and in here? Yeah. Leave us some suggestions or some things that you do, some posts, and we'd love to hear from you. Yeah. That does it for us for right now. We'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm. Bye.